Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have contemporary economic issues affecting the Filipino entrepreneur. Taxes. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define terms related to taxation, explain the purpose of taxation, and analyze the effects of taxation on the economy. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. The system of compulsory contributions levied by the government or other qualified bodies on people, corporations, and property to fund public expenditures. A. Public fund. B. Fees. C. Pork barrel. D. Taxation. The answer is D. Taxation. 2. This government policy aims to raise funds to finance public expenditures. A. Monetary policy. B. Fiscal policy. C. One child policy. D. Bayanihan Act. The answer is B. Fiscal policy. 3. A government agency mandated to comprehend the assessment and collection of all national internal revenue taxes, fees, and charges to promote a sustainable economic growth. A. Department of Finance. B. Bureau of Treasury. C. Bureau of Internal Revenue. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Bureau of Internal Revenue. 4. Taxation can have an impact on many aspects of the economy, except a. Labor supply. b. Economic growth. c. Inflation. d. None of the above. The answer is d. None of the above. 5. A tax that is demanded by a person who shoulders the burden of the tax. A. Direct tax. B. Indirect tax. C. Business tax. D. None of the above. The answer is A. Direct tax. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Describe the effects of saving an investment on the economy. Give at least three effects. Taxation is a system of compulsory contributions levied by the government or other qualified bodies on people, corporations, and property to fund public expenditures. An inherent power of the state to raise income and to demand enforced contributions for public purposes. The purpose of taxation is to raise revenues for public needs so that people can live in a civilized society. The government increases taxes in order to stabilize prices and stimulate greater production. Taxation is an instrument of fiscal policy that influences the direction and structure of money supply, investments, credits, production, interest rate, and inflation. In the Philippines, the legislative branch enacts laws to continually revitalize the taxation policy of the country. 
Meanwhile, the Bureau of Internal Revenue BIR, is mandated to comprehend the assessment and collection of all national internal revenue taxes, fees, and charges to promote sustainable economic growth. The collection of taxes is categorized as direct and indirect tax. Direct tax is demanded from the person who shoulders the burden of the tax. Indirect tax is demanded from a person in the expectation and intention that he, she shall protect himself, herself at the expense of the other, falling finally upon the ultimate purchaser or consumer. Effects of taxation in income tax. Income tax is a levy on income earned. In the Philippines, households who are receiving a daily wage rate below 685 pesos are exempted from income tax effective January 1, 2018, to December 31, 2022. The main purpose of the tax is to raise income for the government which can lead to higher spending on health care and education. These are the effects of the government increases the income tax. Substitution effect. Higher tax leads to lower wages, and work becomes relatively less attractive than leisure. The substitution effect of a higher tax is that workers will work less. Income effect. If higher tax leads to lower wages, then a worker may feel the need to work longer hours to maintain his target level of income. Therefore, the income effect means that higher taxes may mean that some workers feel the need to work longer. The Philippines adopts progressive taxation. A progressive tax takes a higher percentage of tax from people with higher incomes. It means that as your income increases, the tax you need to pay also increases. The impact of indirect tax is more of a microeconomic issue. A higher tax on a good will cause the supply curve shifts in the left resulting to a higher price and a less in demand. The graph shows the impact of an ad valorem tax 20% on a good. A rise in tax excise or VAT can lead an increase in prices. Therefore, it will cause cost push inflation. Cost push inflation occurs when the overall prices increase inflation due to the increase in cost of wages and raw materials. The higher costs of production would result in a decrease in aggregate supply, the amount of total production. Since the demand for goods hasn't changed, the price increases from production are passed on to consumers creating cost push inflation. For your activity. Please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is taxation? 2. What are the effects of taxation? 3. What is the purpose of taxation? Reflect on this. Every right implies a responsibility. Every opportunity, an obligation. Every possession, a duty. John D. Rockefeller. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.